Welcome back everybody to Let's Play Pocket Mirror. In the last episode, we began collecting the missing parts belonging to Mr. Rabbit and Mrs. Fox by uh, going to weird alternate mirror dimensions and taking them from versions of them that are already dead. So yeah, we've entered the red mirror where there had just been an abhorrent slaughter. We went to the blue mirror where there was a murder mystery happening and the detective was kind of an incompetent. So all that we have left is the purple mirror, so let's go ahead and go through. Alright. Okay. The queen's here. Too bad I'm stuck facing the wall. Oh dear, Egolette is here. This is a very special day. The queen has just arrived. I think. Here's hoping we don't get executed. What's going on here? Her royal squeakiness is here! Thank you all for attending this very special ceremony. You have all given me your best, but as you know, only one of you can become my favorite couple. All of the others who don't make it will be executed. Holy fuck. Executed? Who dares interrupt my ceremony? I'm just... Silence! Who are you? Where did you come from? And what are you doing at my ceremony? I'm just looking for something. Oh, and what might that be? Um, I'm looking for... Something I lost. We're not gonna tell her I'm looking for limbs. Holy fuck. I see. That's unfortunate. Take a seat, my girl. I will let you look for whatever it is that you've lost after the ceremony. Thank you. Uh, should I just, like by the throne, or... I'll just, like, sit over here, then. Now, I shall announce the winning couple. Which is... Mr. Rabbit and Mrs. Fox. Congratulations to the winners! You may step aside. As for all you failures, you shall be executed. She can't just murder everyone. Soldiers, march! <gasps> Wait! Farewell, my servant. You have served me well. No! Now that that's taken care of, it's time for tea. As for you... Uh-oh. Clean up this mess before leaving, will you? Or else... Yes, I will. There she goes. Well, I guess any old fox and rabbit limbs will have to do. Yeah, I agree. This is horrible. Yeesh, the couple's body is like torn apart. Their expressions forever frozen in the moments of terror they felt before their executions. Well, guess that's everything we need. Alternate timeline, Egolette. Oof. Okay. Time to fix up the bestest dancers. Take the body parts. I'm sorry, Mr. Rabbit, but this is all I could find for now. 
quite all right, my girl. Thank you for your help. I'm glad to I'm glad I'm able to help you. And Mrs. Fox. Okay, I think I should be able to patch them up now, yeah? Nope. Oh, better fix Mr. Rabbit first. Okay. I've gathered enough parts for you and Miss Fox, and hopefully we can fix you with these. You've come through so much trouble for the both of us. I can't thank you enough. I'm just glad I could help. Tell me, do you know how to sew? Yes, I do. Back together, I wish to be reunited with Mrs. Fox. Of course, let me just find something to sew you in. Okay, we have just that. There, all done. Can you move? Why, yes, indeed, I can. <laughs> That's a relief. I'm so glad. Let's zoom in. Let's sew Mrs. Fox next. Yes. Aw, is he following us around? Aw. Alright. I wonder if she'll wake up now. Mr. Rabbit? Mrs. Fox, I'm so happy you're alright. I'm so glad. Thank you, miss. We owe you everything. You're welcome. I'm glad you two can dance again. Here, you can have this. I've kept it since the day the others ripped our bodies apart. Oh, thank you. This is the key to the theater. I'm sure it'll come in handy. Thank you so much, Mr. Rabbit. Now, Mrs. Fox, would you give me this dance? Yes. Aww. I'm so happy I was able to help them. Ah, oh, look at him go. I'm so happy for the two of you. Thank you for helping us, miss. We owe you our happiness. Ah, uh, let's save. God, that was heartwarming. I don't- I think I've said this already, but this game does pacing really well. Cause like, the way you make horror the most effective is to just like, take it away and give you a chance to relax for a little bit. And yeah, keep you on your toes. Okay. So I wonder if the special key unlocks this door. Nope. I guess it's just these doors. Okay. Wait, what the? I heard them groan like they were opening, but... Oh, well. Key. There we go. Oh, that's ominous. What's this? Well, here's the theater. I guess. Hello. Quick, take a seat. The show's about to start. Uh... Sit. <laughs> Welcome to the most incredible of shows. The most amazing and impressive prose. The little girl whose days are counted, with none of her wishes ever being granted. <laughs> Oh dear. Aren't I an impressive poet? Who are you? Don't trouble yourself with petty questions, miss. But do enjoy your stay, and please <laughs> keep your memories close to your heart. Once upon a time, in a very special garden, there was a very special little girl. She loved taking naps outside in the afternoon and doing nothing all day. Such an adorable little slob. In fact, she was such a privileged little girl, she had her very own mountain of sweets. But that's not all. Egliette, her best of friends, never left her side. 
just like sisters from the same mother. <laughs> I'm hilarious. A noisy little brat and her stuffed doll. What better combination could there be? Together, they were a riot. Known all over the kingdom as the supreme rulers. Or just two silly kids. I don't know. Silly little munchers they were. They told each other many secrets, even embarrassing ones. Tea time was a very important event where they discussed s Oh my god, this text is too fucking fast! Egliette was indeed Fleeta's best friend and her most important companion. She was also stuffed with the girl's t childish ways. One day, however, it started to rain, preventing Fleeta from- Oh, holy fucking shit, just read the text, I can't do this. may have gotten interesting. <sighs> What's going on? Oh no, that... That sounded like it was coming from the dancer's hall. What the... Oh no... Mr. Rabbit, what happened? Is it an obvious, obvious theory? We took care of them. You don't mean you've done this yourselves, do you? Why, yes, we have. Wasn't our work done quite beautifully? But why? I thought all you wanted was to dance again. Oh, sweetie, you have mind you have yet much to learn, and apparently hatred is still one of those things. So you did it out of revenge. How can you do something like this? How could we? You are well aware of what they've done to us, are you not, miss? That still doesn't justify what you've done. How doesn't it justify? Revenge, my dear, is a dish best served cold. Do you understand? Then move along. We're very grateful for the deeds towards us, after all. We owe you our most pure satisfaction. <laughs> Yeah, I understand. I wouldn't want to get near them either. So, uh, I guess we just go back to the theater now, where it's safe. We can't go back to the theater where it's safe. Shit. Okay, where do we go then? Can't go in here. Maybe now we try that other door? Or maybe the mirror? No? Yeah, this door. Room is filled with kitties! Kitty butlers! The queen is waiting for you. Oh god. What might be troubling you, little girl? I I don't know, mister. And what might you not know, little girl? I don't know why they would do something like that. I see. Listen, miss. Our existences, no matter how faint may be, they do serve a purpose and will, in one way or another, affect your own. I see. You can have this. I think it might cheer you up with your own. Oh, thank you! Mint is good. Unfortunately, I cannot accompany you on your journey, but I'm sure this will be able to reassure you in times of distress. <laughs> Thank you, mister. You're very kind. Zill, cat butlers. God, if my boyfriend were here, he'd be losing his shit. Meow. Oh boy, this must be Egg 
Nicolette's throne room. Queen Nicolette's ceremony is about to start! How exciting! You're so lucky, miss. I wish I were an honored guest myself. An honored guest? Kiddo. I see a pumpkin. It's very dark in here. Shh, you shouldn't disturb the dead. Huh? The dead? You holy fuck! Is that Fleeta? No, that's that's a galette! So 
I can't open it? Strong light overflows wind between the iron bars, carrying a soft, cool breeze into the room. Uh... Well, I still have Mr. Goblin Gable. Maybe we use that? I guess we gotta go find the key. Hiding my darkest heart in a veil of innocence, I swore, weeping in the darkness, confiding with the room, as the sun rises, I put on my golden crown once more, hoping to meet my beloved by the afternoon. So go for gold. Yep. I can be stolen or given away, and you will live, yet you cannot live without me. The heart. What letter is like a cow's tail? L. Apparently not. Alright, let's try that again. Crown, love, maybe F? There we go. C. We have three keys. Do we take all of them? Uh. Ah, shit, that's how we get back out here. Uh, hold on. Cow's tail is shaped like an F. Did you know it's shaped like an L? I lived on a cattle farm for like most of my childhood. I think I know more about cows than this game does. Hmm. Maybe. Hmm. Is there a note here that can help us out? No? Hmm. Oh, well, maybe red key for a red chest? Let's look at the blue one, too. Hmm. Maybe we can just take all of them. Nope. Can we put it back, just in case? No, we can't. Oh, dear. Oh, wait! If this doesn't unlock the, uh... If this doesn't unlock, unlock the chest, maybe it'll unlock the blue door? Well, let's give it a try. Huh? Doesn't fit the lock. It, it broke. Alright, let me go get the other keys. Alright. Red key, maybe? Nope. Should've just gone with the shiny gold one. No, uh, I should have listened to that one theory. I don't remember the name of it for the life of me, but basically there's this theory out there that when presented with three things, most people are opted to go for the one in the middle. Let's try this golden key. It fit! Whoa. It's... Lita. <laughs> Alright, so who was the funny buddy who locked me inside this chest? You're that girl. Hmm? Who are you? Oh, I'm... Hmm? I've never seen you around here before. How did you get here? 
I just... Let me see... Did you see the one who locked me up inside this chest by any chance? Oh, no, I didn't. The chest was already locked when I got here. That's a shame. <laughs> oh well, that's alright. I'm a good detective, so I'll catch the culprit in no time. <laughs> ah, I see. So, what are you doing here, miss? That's... Uh... Queen Aguia excited me. Hmm. Oh, did she now? Yes. Alright then. Speaking of that, when speaking of that, and speaking of Agalette, have you invited, have you seen her? I can't even get here, but someone locked me up in this chest. I, uh... <laughs> she must be in her throne, she must be in her throne. Let's go together. You're holding her in, her in your arms, though. Oh, by the way, miss, what's your name? Mine's Fleeta. Fleeta, Lilliputian and Lilliputian princess. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't seem to remember my name right now. <laughs> really? That's weird. Sure is. Anyway, let's go look for Aguillette. I have a few royal matters to address with her. Uh, I'm starting to... A, to interact with characters in your party! Oh, cool! I need to talk to her. Oh, dear. Honey, I don't think you're gonna like what you see. <laughs> Is that... Aguillette? She's already. Likely, oh, I'm so glad you're all right. Everything will be fine now. I'm here with you. Was that? You didn't see who it was? That's fine. All that matters is you're safe now. <laughs> Thank you so much for saving Egliette. Oh no, it was nothing. No, no, I insist. <laughs> Egliette and I want to Egliette and I want to invite you to come play with us at my dollhouse. Would you like to come? Really? Can I? Of course. Come on now, let's go. Uh I don't know what direction that is, kiddo, but okay. Maybe it's through these bars. I don't know. Yep, I'm assuming so. Step back a little. I'm gonna do a magic trick. A magic trick? Do you know how to do magic? <laughs> mm-hmm. Now watch. Oh, this is nice. A garden? Yes, this is my absolute favorite place to play. Oh, I see. <laughs> we need to go through it to reach my dollhouse. Let's go. I'll lead the way. Alright. We are running very low on time, but I think this is a good place to leave off. So, 
I guess we'll be going to Fleeta's Dollhouse next time on Let's Play Pocket Mirror. I will see you guys then, and take care. And hey, thanks for sticking around till the end. If you like what you saw, please consider leaving a like or a comment or maybe even subscribing. If you're itching for more horror, you can click here to watch me play Corpse Party. Or if you need a break from the spooks, you can click here to watch me play To the Moon. See you around!